What's up YouTube? My name is Steven here with an FSX tutorial for you guys. We're going to do a very brief uh, overview on how to navigate. Uh, this is not a in-depth um, uh, in tutorial unfortunately. It's just a very quick overview. Just trying to get a video, out to, video or two out today because I know you guys have been asking for them and I haven't uh, been able to just get them out unfortunately. I've just been very busy. Um, you know, sorry about that. But uh Hope you um will uh, give you some insight on how to navigate today um, using navigation so VORs and NDB so non-directional beacons and dang it VORs slipped my mind VORs slipped my mind I'll uh, try to I'll have that in the description on what VRR stands for I forgot it thing is uh <laughs> never mind okay but um I'm able to record my screen now so that is awesome so let's uh so you guys could see what I'm seeing on the map whenever I go into the map so what we're going to do here we're going to go find a VOR so this is a VOR right here these little blue box things that say FQF or uh uh BJC um like BVR you know uh DBV, but those are all these little blue boxes with the dot in the middle are VORs. So what we're going to do, you're going to click on one. So I clicked on the Falcon and we're going to get the frequency right here. So the frequency is right here and it's 116.3. So what we're going to do, sorry, um, what we're going to do is go to the radio stack and go 116.3. Put it into your radio stack, switch it to the first position this is standby active so right there I will be doing some other tutorials on that sim and whatnot but uh, for right now this is what we're going to be doing so let's bring our throttle up so we get that rid of that low pressure so right now um, we're going to turn the wheels so we know that we're on northerly heading looking here and we know that we're pointed probably three four zero or something so we know that to go to the station, we want to go center the rod up, this rod up. So imagine that this uh, this card turns with it, but it doesn't, which is kind of weird thing it's saying. But whatever. So we're going to keep turning it to. We know that the station is off off to our um, northeast right here. So we're going to keep turning the wheel until we start hitting the station. So as you see, it just moves right there, that little needle. What you want to do, you want to center it up. So we just centered it up right there. So this is shown about um, 0, 4, 0 on the heading. So right here, you could go down here and be like, hey, let's fly 0, 4, 0. So that's already tuned up right there, 0, 4, 0, 0, 4, 0. Everything's happy. So if we immediately took off, if we immediately started turning that way and heading, we would catch the station. And we we have a little pointing arrow going up, so that means we're going to. And then when we're going from it, it'll have a down arrow right there. And um, what we're going to do, actually, we're going to go catch the 050 radial. So if you have a, a radial, when I refer to a radial, it's off a 360-degree compass. So right here, north, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it goes 360 degrees around. So we're going to try to catch the whenever the station's coming in like this. Right now it's we're hitting the station right here. We want to catch the station whenever we fly up north. We want to hit it from up here. If you could kind of catch my mouse. Unfortunately, I don't have like any drawing pad where I could show you that, but um what we're going to do we're going to keep flying north until we hit that. So let's take the aircraft off the ground. Set our trim for takeoff. Throttle it up, give it the juice. And we'll Let's uh, head it out that way. So, um, VORs are used. Um, they are being the NDBs, non-directional beacons, are slowly being decommissioned because GPS is becoming a um, major uh, navigation tool now. Almost all the planes that I fly have GPS in them. Um, you know, uh, just. Um, GPS is becoming dominant, and it's dominating the uh, the uh, navigation world for the aviation industry. So you're going to see a lot of these NDBs, VORs, um, start disappearing, unfortunately. Um, so that's kind of crying shame because that's the glory days of aviation, and what I call it, whenever you actually had to use radios to find your way instead of setting up a computer to tell you where to go. So I always like to try to use... Um, 
my um, VORs and I'll tune it up on the radio stack to double check, you know, with the computer. But whenever I'm flying like the PMDG NGX, um, but you know, it's kind of sucky that they're going. It's going that way, but right now we got them, so use them while you can. So as you can see, the ne needle is starting to move towards the center. Um, so once it hits center, we're actually going to fly 0, 5, 0 on the heading to coincide with where the needle is hitting. So right there is 0, 5, 0. Wait till that needle, needle, center, yeah, needle centers up. And then we'll turn uh, uh, right 0, 5, 0. So it's starting to center up right now. And we'll make start executing a 10, about 20 degree bank right turn zero five zero so yeah we could bring it down 30 because we're flying a little bit past it so and we're good and roll out and we could compensate back for that so we're gonna pause it right here and we're gonna see if we're gonna be pointing at the station so we're gonna go to the world map and if I believe my plane is pointed directly at the Falcon VOR. So the success, we made it, you know, that's how you track radials and that's how you track to the station. From the station it's the exact opposite. You turn it the uh omni bearing selector, so the OBS, a complete three hundred sixty degrees, which is what is that? Two two three zero? Yeah, two three zero to the the other direction and we'll be tuning that up now we're showing that we're going from the station once we pass over the top of it it'll switch to two so you could uh, track two or from the station so remember keep that little arrow right there see where it's pointing and now I want to bring up uh, NDBs which is non-directional beacons and we're going to track to the Cassie NDB which is shown here at the end of Centennial. So here's Centennial Airport. Here's the little Cassie NDB right there. So they're kind of a little oval, pink oval looking thing, and it has a number right next to it. And our frequency for that is uh, 260 on that right there. So that's what you're looking for. So once we tune that up, um, we're going to unpause it and we're going to be using a different different instrument, which is called a ADF, which is Automatic Direction Finder. Um, I'm actually going to change uh, cockpit views because the 2D panel has it better. So right there, we have the arrow. So all you got to literally do with this, you don't have to uh, screw up with the screw with the heading at all. You just fly where the needle the needle is centered up and down, so north to south. That's how you track a uh, non-directional beacon I mean uh, yeah an NDB with an ADF so ta-da that's how you do it it's very simple to do all you gotta do is tune up the frequency track to the station and we have a distance measuring equipment which is nice which this means is DME so we're gonna be I believe we are what, how many we're 10 nautical miles out from um, Cassie NDB and hope, hold on one second. Is that pertaining to the VOR? Yeah, that's uh, that's actually for the VOR. Sorry, VOR um, DME. Uh, they have a combo on those beacons, so this actually tells you how far you away from the uh, VOR is. So if you were trying to give a position report, um, whenever you took off, they're like, um, if they need a position report, you could be like, we're on the zero five zero radial of the Falcon VOR with uh, approximately um, like 11.5 nautical miles out from the station tracking to it. So whenever they're asking for a position report, you could give them that. Um, sorry, the uh, NDB does not work with the DME, unfortunately, because that would be kind of nice. But that's how you work those um, right there. So hopefully this was very informative for you guys. Hopefully you guys could start flying... Uh, um, start flying uh, with uh, navigation beacons and if you guys want me to go in more detail on this I can it's very complex though it could get very confusing I get confused by it 
but if you guys want me to I'll be more than happy to so just leave me a comment in the comment section below and please like rate uh, like comment and subscribe to my channel and thank you all very much for watching my name is Steven this has been another FSX tutorial